Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates, where I like to cook for you, do grocery hauls, what's for dinner segments, and today I'm bringing you a collaboration with the channel Life of a Meal Wife. Now we are going to be taking each other's favorite family recipe and making it. So I'll be making hers and she'll be making mine. So make sure you stay around at the end of my video and go down into my description box and click on their channel so you can see what they're making of mine. All right, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all, I'm going to be bringing you chili cheese rice casserole. All right, so the first thing the recipe calls for are diced vegetables. And we're going to be dicing up three peppers, some celery, and an onion. So if you can see my pretty pepper here, it's a mix between a yellow and a red pepper, maybe an orange too, but it's called a Fiesta pepper, and I found these at Trader Joe's. making chili cheese rice casserole. This is the first time I'm going to be making this today y'all but after reading the instructions and the ingredients and all that I am super excited to be able to try this. Okay y'all so the first thing we're going to do to make this casserole is I've got my burner on. I got some oil that I put into the bottom of my, my Dutch oven here and you saw me chop up one onion, a couple of bell peppers, and some celery stalks into dices here. We're going to saute these up. So, all right, so Life of a Mill Wife, their channel, they are Canadian. So they are going to be making my dish sausage stuffed peppers, and I am making their dish. So we're going to see. They're Canadian. I'm down here in the southeast Texas, about 60 miles from Galveston. So. We're going to see how our two worlds collide with making each other's recipes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead now and add our veggies. Alright, think of it like making a, like making a chili. Alright, there's a lot of vegetables in here. I'm going to go ahead and season it by giving it some salt and some pepper. Oh, it smells good already. <laughs> Y'all stick with me and watch me build this casserole. You're not going to believe it. I'm super excited. Mmm, smells good in there. Alright, I'm going to bring you back as soon as these soften up and we're ready to put the ground beef in. These are softened down. We're going to go ahead now and add our ground beef. Now I have about two and a quarter pounds here, so I'm going to put about three quarters of this in there. Alright, I did. I brought out my meat chopper here, my favorite utensil in the kitchen. <laughs> you put it on top of your meat, you push down and twist. I'm going to break this all up. Now if you like this, or you want to check it out, it's down in my description box under my Amazon links. Alright. I'm going to break this all up, brown this up, and then we'll be right back. Alright, so while my meat is browning up, I've got to open all these cans. Now, I'm using my handy dandy can opener because as I'm mashing up my meat and browning it up over here, it's doing all the work for me. And all I do is put it on the can push it twice and then leave it alone and it's going to go all the way around and be able to pop that top right off of there. My meat is all nice and brown now. What I'm going to do is drain the grease out of here and I'm just going to push everything to the side here and I'm going to use some paper towels to absorb all of that grease and that way I can just throw it away. Alright, so I don't have to take this over the sink, strain it out, it's just too much. <laughs> so I'm going to lay my paper towels in there, push it down, and absorb 
a lot of that liquid. All right, we are ready to season this up. Doesn't that look nice already in there? Oh my gosh. Okay. Garlic powder. Now, I'm going to think about half a teaspoon of garlic powder goes in there. They just said just put it in as you want to, like, season your chili. All right. So, I use cumin in chili, so they say curry makes this dish. So, curry is going in just like a cumin would. I mean, it smells really good. I like the smell of curry. All right. Next, we've got chili powder, and they say load it in there, <laughs> like load it in there. So I'm going to go across. Oh, it smells already good in there. All right, and we'll season as we go. If we feel like we need more of something, we'll add it in there. Right, Kevin and Kelly? <laughs> Hopefully you're not frowning at me. Okay, let's give this a mix to see where we're at, because it smells amazing already. Oh, amazing. And then I'm going to tell you what else is going in here. Mmm, it's just, the smells are all in my face right now. Delicious. Alright, let me cover these up. Alright. Two cans of diced tomatoes. Now these are 14 ounce cans. I'm going to go ahead and get those in there. We've got some baked beans. Now I've got two cans here. Now they say one can of baked beans and another can of variety beans. Okay, we'll talk about that here in a minute. So that's going in. Mm. Oh my gosh, it smells delicious already. Yes, juice and all. <laughs> all right. I'm going to stir this all up and then we're going to give it a taste and see where we are with our seasoning blend. Oh my gosh, smells like a chili to me. All right, so the one can of beans that I put in there were baked beans and it had like some brown sugar in it and, and some pieces of bacon in it. And then, well they suggest you use molasses, baked beans with molasses, but I couldn't find that. So I found the one with the brown sugar in it. So it'll give it the same kind of flavor, I'm sure. So they also suggest that you add a can of regular variety of beans. I don't know, I guess it's got like kidney beans in it and black beans and I'm, I'm not really sure, but we don't eat those here, here in our house. And um, if I make chili, usually there's no beans in it, but I will eat like a pork and bean, which is like what this is right here, baked beans. So. Um, that's how we're going to have ours. So, all right, we're going to go in with a spoon. Ooh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm like really hungry. All right. Mmm. Okay. That's delicious. All right. It needs a little more liquid, I'm thinking. So, I'm going to add a can of beef broth. Because we still got to put rice in here too. I'm going to bring my temperature up so we can bring it to a boil. All right, just about one fourth can of some water. Give that a mix carefully. All right, we're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to take it down. All right, take it down to a simmer for 15 minutes. All right. So I'm going to take it down now to about um, medium low, let it simmer for about 15 minutes, and then I'm going to add the rice. Oh boy, y'all. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Smells delicious. All right. We're going to go ahead now in the last five minutes of cooking this is we're going to add our minute rice. 
Now I've got about a cup here. What this will do is also help thicken the sauce here. All right. I'm going to stir all this in. I'm going to put a lid on it for five minutes. At this time, go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at that. That's the consistency you want. Really thick. All right. I'm going to turn it off and we're going to build a casserole. All right. We're going to go ahead now and ladle half of this mixture here into a 9 by 13 baking dish, which I got right here. I've already tasted it a thousand times because it's so delicious. Mm. Well, my kids will be really happy when they come home today. <laughs> All right, now to this, I'm going to add, now I've got about two pounds of shredded cheddar cheese here. And I'm going to, I keep moving this thing down, don't I? <laughs> All right, so you just cover this whole layer with your cheese. All right, the other half of our mixture here, I'm gonna put all over the cheese here, and then another layer of cheese. Smells amazing, and I bet with that cheese. And y'all, and then there's gonna be one more thing. How are we gonna eat this? And that's gonna be the fun part that I'm gonna show you after it's all said and done. Here, where that cheese is going to go when I put it in the oven. <laughs> I don't want to be cleaning my oven. I'll be putting something underneath here. That's for sure. Okay, I think we're there, y'all. This is going in my oven that's been preheating at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. We're looking for this cheese to melt and be a nice golden brown. All right, y'all, I'm going to be back, and I'm going to show you how we're going to eat this. All right, I'm ready to dig in. Now, I took it out of the oven, and I let it rest for about 10 minutes until I got other things ready. That way it can cool down and kind of solidify inside here. It smells amazing all through the house. Mm. There we go. Chili cheese rice casserole. And you know how you eat this? You take a chip. That's what they say. It's the Canadian way, I think. <laughs> okay. Mm. But cheese. Mmm. Okay, that's really delicious. That's really delicious. You know what flavors are coming through? That curry. Oh my gosh, when they say you can't make this dish without it, they're right. It is so, it makes the dish. Mmm. Grab you a bowl of chastadas. It's the only way to eat this, <laughs> or with a fork, whatever you want to do. All right, so just remember that this was a collaboration with Kevin and Kelly's channel, Life as a Middle Wife. Now, um, they're doing their show today. Also, go down in the description box and click on the link to their channel, and you will see them making my sausage stuffed peppers. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification. You'll always know when my shows are posted. Don't forget my thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next episode.